All right, we're going to make this burlap fabric material. In a new scene, go into the Shading tab, go into the drop-down menu for World, and add an environment texture so that we have some lighting in our scene. All right, in the Shading tab, change from World to Object, and just add a testing object, and go ahead and add a new material, and rename it to Burlap. To create our mask, go ahead and add a wave texture and then add a second wave texture. And on the second one, change this drop down from X to Y. With the Node Wrangler plugin enabled, hit Control T to add a texture coordinate and mapping node and plug the output vector into both of the wave textures. Change the coordinate output from generated to UV. On your wave textures, change the first one scale to 25 and distortion to 3.5 and turn the detail all the way up to 15, and the detail scale to 5. On the second wave texture, change the scale to something like 22, the distortion again to 3.5, and the detail again all the way up to 15, and the detail scale to 5. Go ahead and add a color ramp to each one, and plug the color outputs into the input on the color ramp. Then add a mix node so that we can mix these together. Change the mode on the mix mode to color and plug the first one into A and the second color ramp output into B. If you have the Node Wrangler plugin enabled, Control Shift click to preview the mix node and you can see our mask is looking a lot like burlap cloth, but we need to adjust some of these handles to give it a clearer definition. So drag this left handle up on the top color ramp and the white handle down a little bit. Great, so that's our mask. Now let's use it to make our colors. So duplicate this mix node over, and we're going to plug this factor from our mask into the factor input on the uh, mix color node. So B will be the lighter color here. I went with a hex code of 94734D. And then in A, this will be our darker color, and I went with a color of 291B0D. And go ahead and plug that result into our base color. That's great, but it looks a little flat, so let's add a bump map. So Shift A, search, and add a bump node. And we're just going to use this output of our mask as the height input on our bump and plug the normal output into the normal slot on the principal BSDF shader. Reduce the strength to something like 0.1 or 0.15. Hit Shift A and add a color ramp so that we can create a roughness map for this object. Again, using our mask from before, plug its output into the factor on the color ramp and the color output on the color ramp into the roughness. Now we want this material to be mostly rough, so go ahead and change this black on our color ramp to a very light gray. I settled on a hex code of CBCBCB. Now since this is cloth, it's gonna look a lot better on our preview object if we actually make a cloth. So go ahead and back in layout view mode, select your cube and give it a collision modifier and then hit shift A mesh plane and just scale the cube down to a size of maybe 0.5. Take your plane and drag it up in the Z axis and add a cloth modifier and change the default to leather. We also want to add a subdivision surface modifier here with six levels and hit apply so that we have a fairly dense plane and then hit play to simulate our cloth. I'm actually going to make this a little bit larger and then subdivide it one more time after the simulation. Pause the simulation when your cloth is in a good looking position and then highlight it and search for apply visual geometry to mesh. Then we can right click and shade it smooth and subdivide it one more time to get a very clean looking cloth. Now we can apply our preview cloth material to this. I ended up increasing the scale value on the mapping node to two so that it would be a little bit of a better size. Now the last thing we need to do is add some displacement. So go ahead and hit Shift A, search displacement, and we'll place this down here and plug the displacement output into the displacement input on our material output node over here. Now go ahead and take the output of our mix node and plug it into the height input on our displacement. In the material settings for our cloth material, make sure you go down into settings and change surface displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. Set the displacement scale to 0.005. And there you have it, an easy procedural burlap medieval cloth material.